There's this age-old expression that goes, Beauty is only skin deep. That's just something ugly people say. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, how about that other one? Then? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, wait a minute. No, that's uh, that's beer holder. It's supposed to be beholder. In the eye of the beholder. Not eye of the beer holder. You put the wrong blood. Point is, it's hard to pin down exactly what beauty is because it means so many different things to so many different people. However, when it comes to ugly, well, there's more of a unanimous consensus that which is unpleasing to the human eye. Case in point, the new fabled game trailer recently launched onto the internet for all to see. Boy, is it the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> Makes the original Sonic reveal like a Victoria's Secret's runway show in comparison. Which is a shame because whilst the trailer itself failed to show any gameplay footage to my knowledge, it was actually expertly put together. Quite witty too. Especially a little twist towards the but end. I spent most of it wondering to myself, okay, is this a guy? Is this a girl? Is this a, what, what is this? It's a man, baby! Yeah. Yeah. Talk about yanking you out of the experience. The trailer kicks off with the voiceover of famous British comedian Richard Ayoade. Richard Ayoade. Before giving us a look at the man himself, jaw-droppingly rendered. I mean, it looks incredible. Really eye-popping. Just as a side note, Doctor Who producers, this is the guy you should have hired to be the next Doctor Who. Okay, you imbecile. What are you thinking? This guy was born to be Doctor And plus you get to tick a diversity box at the same time. No one would have complained. Stupid. Then, after a series of mini teases, we get a good look at our, well, I'd like to say heroine, but put what the producers of this game was taking when they were putting it together. The jury's still out on that one. Now, to be fair to the producers, the opening line did give you a hint at the direction they were going in with this one. What do I think about heroes? Well, we've all seen them, haven't we? Swanning about the place with their disproportionately high cheekbones and comically massive weapons. Wanker. Yes, we're back on that old let's subvert expectations trope. Highest. Oh, please. Oh, Come on. Attractiveness in video games has never been disproportionate. Where there's a hot girl, there's always a hot guy. Every male character in a video game, pretty much your typical beef cakey, muscle bound meathead. The guy said it himself. Disproportionately high cheekbones and comically massive weapon. But no, all of a sudden, again, there seems to be an issue with the female characters looking what? good. Conventionally beautiful. Never the male character. Oh no no. Just like in the movies, the more shirtless the merrier. And <laughs> Now currently it's one of the most disliked Xbox trailers on the internet. Yeah. No shit, Sherlock! Which is no surprise to most gamers. I mean, we've been there before, haven't we? And many a time, too. It's almost as predictable as many members of the chill media rushing out to defend it. You're People like the Mary Sue. No, just on a side issue here. I remember the times when Mary Sue was derogatory to Not something to be proud of. Name your website after. What next? A Daily Karen? <laughs> Man. Excuse me, it's ma'am! What? It is ma'am! Okay, okay. The headline reads the Sensibilities of the new Fable trailer are perfect for the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> of course there are. Yes. It reads, it's been over a decade since we've gotten a proper entry in the Fable series. The last time we got a teaser was two years At ago. this most recent showcase, we finally got a proper trailer. In-game footage, no less. Yeah. Proper article, this is. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the backlash against the trailer, which was as predictable as it is laughable. Honey, the only thing predictably laughable is your reaction to our reaction. It literally said a Rolex watch to it. It continues. Not only was Ayoade's appearance met with accusations of the game becoming in a woke hipster bastardization of the franchise which is hilarious because Ayoade's humor is as British as it gets and what even is this franchise without painfully British humor but of course these people had to have a go at the featured protagonist's appearance too Damn right. now look personally I don't have any issue with David appearing in the trailer to me it's a stroke of genius I don't know anybody else who has an issue what we all collectively have an issue with is how this quote unquote woman looks <laughs> What's wrong with her appearance? The article continues. Literally nothing. She's a woman without makeup, blonde hair or blue eyes. That's it. She looks good in my like opinion. A regular human woman. And a definite step up from the female protagonist in Fable 3. Who felt the need to jut her boobs and butt out whenever she was standing Hardly. still. Many things we can criticise modern video games over. Refusing to set the feminist movement back several decades is not one of them. Oh my. Now look, I'm a fair guy, I'm a fair right? guy, right? I'm a fair guy. So I figured, you know what? Before I go any further, I'm actually going to look at the original. Actual 
actress as a reference by the game developer because if she looks like this then that's fair enough because not everyone can look well everyone could look some people have unique looks okay that's fine that's fine so i did i did some searching here's what i found here's the game character model now meet the real life actress who provided her face what the difference yeah they've taken certain liberties this woman's appearance and using that guilt to gaslight the rest of us now, you game developers should be ashamed of yourself i mean you've done this woman a disservice i mean just look at what you've created if that is a woman it does look like she was beaten with an ugly stick now first you could be like well maybe they're just bad at doing their job maybe rendering pixel per Perfect images just isn't their thing. You look at David's character design and it's spot on. It's, it's like, perfection. So no, no excuse. Funny thing is, this isn't the first time these game developers have taken artistic liberties for the worse. Check out some of these past examples. She's gonna put this on her CV. Doesn't look anything like her. Hardly. I mean, what were you thinking, guys? Come on. Why won't this wig come off? Borderline character assassination. Uh, that's what this is. Now, sure, she could be viewed as a tad androgynous in certain shots, but definitely not an unattractive person. That wasn't enough for them. The game developer. Oh no, had to give her everything but a five o'clock shadow. Man her up a bit. What's again, this man? All right, all right. <laughs> Sure, that's what I said. But the only message that tells me is that legitimacy as a video game character only comes about mm. look like a man, walk like a man, or talk like a man. Being a woman just doesn't cut it. Which is actually crap. Yeah, look, I'm being a little facetious. Fine. Sue me, why don't you? I want to address these game developers head on. Now, look, we all know, thanks in no small part to the likes of Blizzard Entertainment, that if we were to do a deep dive into your online browser history, heck, even a casual shallow glance, we'd find more sources sourced source than a George Foreman distribution center. Uh huh. So, whilst you may think you're fooling the world with your down with misogyny and up with femininity, stick. You're not. Far from it. Just a FYI. <laughs> But that's me done. I want to hear what you have to say. Did the character's appearance bother you? Does it matter? Are there other examples out there of beauty phobia? Comment down below. Let a brother know. And I'll catch you the next time. I thought she was a man.